our, uh, our affiliated company in France, Novasium, basically filed a patent for an autonomous low carbon footprint on demand pressurized hydrogen production system. I know it sounds like a, mo- a mouthful, but the key point is no electricity required. It is truly an autonomous system that is going to change the way hydrogen can be produced. What makes this system really unique is that instead of having uh, instead of having electrolyzer that convert the that extract the hydrogen from the water, we have a chemical reaction where two basically non-hazardous material are react with the water and generate the hydrogen. What is fundamentally even more exciting about this technology is that the hydrogen we'll be producing will be uh, under pressure, under the pressure that uh, that are presently used by commercial application. What that means is, not only can we fabricate the the hydrogen on demand autonomously, we will be able to to furnish a hydrogen in a way that the industry is capable of using it. So there there will be no changes required for the present application of the system. We will grant them pressurized hydrogen wherever they need in the world. And that is completely unique. That's unheard of. And that's really what we're pushing forward with this technology. When we started Novasium in uh, last year, in 2022, uh, Q3 of 2022, one of the big projects that the PhDs, the the scientists basically starting Novasium is they wanted to continue uh, the work they had been doing over the years over uh, generating hydrogen through hydrolysis through a chemical reaction of water and, and the system. And th- with their expertise, with their system, they, they basically did the test required so we could file the patent. And for us, the filing of the patent really opens up many doors. Until you file a patent, you can't really communicate about this. But at, from this moment on, we can communicate about the uniqueness and the incredible advantage of this technology. In a certain way, until patents are filed, we are limited to by what we said. But the application, the potential of this technology is so strong that even before, just because of the interrelation that our scientists had with, uh, with, with other scientists in looking for, for solution, we ended up getting a request for a specific material, which we're devel- a system that we're developing right now. And that is even before. Now that, now that we can start talking more about it, there'll be more people interested in discovering it and we'll be able to push it more forward. One of the, one of the first basically commercial application that we're looking at or that basically was brought to us to, to resolve was having a system, a way of manufacturing the hydrogen that could be completely autonomous, safe with a, with a simplistic logistic problem. And one of the applications for the military is they, they need hydrogen in the battlefield. The, the demand for hydrogen powered equipment in the battlefield will increase, but you just cannot deliver on the battlefield pressurized hydrogen in the sense that you can't fly in air. You can't have an airplane full of, you know, pressurized hydrogen flying into the combat zone to deliver the material. It's just not unthinkable. So we needed to, to figure out a solution where the vector through which the hydrogen is brought to, to the end user Okay, is non-hazardous, non-dangerous, can basically be simple good, good that is shipped without any problems anywhere in the world, and that the hydrogen is just generated on the battlefield. So the footprint where the hydrogen is made is very, very small, but it will deliver the material that is needed in the field. And it's truly autonomous. But it will, what will also happen is it will really open up the market for hydrogen, because uh, in a certain way. Uh, right now, there's only like a small, small percentage of hydrogen, the uh, green hydrogen that is delivered and it, is, it, it can be used. And most of it comes from, from, from um, fossil fuel. But with our technology, we will be able to increase that because we, we're, we're not stuck with the same limitation. The logistic issues with regard to manufacturing green hydrogen to the end users are very, very complex. So. Our technology will also will not only be the most efficient, safest way of producing hydrogen, but it will be probably the cheapest way of delivering hydrogen on demand anywhere on the location. This patent and this te- new technology we're, we're developing is very important for HPQ. One of the main reasons, because it fits within the three verticalities of which we've been telling people that we are doing and which we are executing on. People have to realize we are really executing on delivering those three verticalities moving forward. Uh, you know, just for a reminder, our first verticality is silicone, where we're developing a new process that's going to be green to convert quartz into high purity silicone in one step. Second word that we're doing in that verticality is, is taking that high purity silicone, converting it into silicone atom materials for batteries. That's also moving very well. Second verticality is, is the one where we're developing the fume silica process, which allows us to develop a green, a, a much greener way of delivering 
um, fume silica to the industry, something that's been unheard of is going to have a lot of advantages moving forward. The third verticalities we've always said we'd be working on is an autonomous hydrogen system. And now that we finally filed this patent, we can now really start to talk so people can realize the incredible potential this, this can have for the industry, for the renewable energy space, but for HPQ Innovation as we develop this. And the interesting part of, of this technology is that by the end of next year, 2024, we will have an operating prototype. And what that means is not a system that validates technology. It'll be an operational system that either military or civilian application can use, can use to validate that it works for their application. And that's very, very big because the scaling up after that is going to be much easier to do or cheaper to do relative to the uh, to, to, to all our other projects. So there is a coherent picture. If our investors, investors just go take a look at our investor page, you'll see that this has always been one of the verticalities we were working on. And now that we filed the patent, we can finally talk more about this. And the fact that this technology is not a pipe dream, it really exists, it really works, and we're really developing.